PCR as an alternative to genomic DNA cloning. We discussed that if we are going to uh, digest the source DNA, it will produce huge number of DNA fragments. And the genomic library that will be produced, it contain variety of recombinants, including our gene of interest. So uh, it is a laborious work to screen uh, such a type of genomic library. On the other hand, if we will use polymerase chain reaction or PCR to amplify our gene of interest from a complex genome, then the target gene it is very easy to isolate. If we use specific primers, this means that if we want to amplify a gene ko amplify karna rahe by using PCR. So more or less, we will have idea that the sequence of gene is the length of the gene and this primer will be used for it. So this is the preconditions that are required for it. Once we use gene-specific primers, we can amplify our gene. Then again, uh, it depends upon the efficiency of the PCR that how much uh, length of the DNA it will produce. Comparatively, under standard conditions, PCR can produce 5 kilobase DNA fragment and for most of the genes, this length it is not suitable. And under some circumstances, it, uh, under standard conditions, around 5, 1 to 2 kilobase DNA fragments, they may be amplified. So for some gene it may be suitable, but for the majority of the gene, uh, this length it is not suitable. So we can say that we need comparatively longer DNA fragments. On the other hand, it also have limitation that the target DNA it is exposed to high temperature during the denaturation process that can affect the processivity uh, of TAC polymerase because at high temperature some uh, you can say that uh, mismatches may be there so unwanted bases may be incorporated nicks may be produced uh, and uh, dark polymerase it is having a low proof reading activity so such type of limitations uh, are there now the question is that how we can produce longer dna fragments it can be produced by using a long pcr so in this case the standard procedure it can be modified like the temperature can be lowered, pH can be increased, that increase the stability of the reaction uh, mixture and even two type of polymerases can be used like dark polymerase and in addition to that PFU thermostable polymerase it can be used that has high proofreading activity. So the DNA fragments that we will get uh, it is appropriate uh, with very low number of uh, you can say that uh, uh, mismatch base pairs or unwanted base pairs. So the DNA fragments that will be produced uh, because of high proofreading activity of the PFU polymerase, it is suitable for further uh, cloning. Now different type of companies, uh, they can provide on commercial basis the mixture of these uh, uh, polymerases that can be used in PCR. A reaction so that we can produce longer DNA fragments that may be up to around 20 uh, kilo base pair. Another strategy that can be used to clone PCR product it is fragment PCR because sometimes if we want to attempt DNA amplification from single cell or some uh, you can say that uh, complex uh, source of DNA uh, then very low uh, number of fragments they can be uh, amplified because of the low quantity of the DNA. Then uh, another strategy is that uh, we can use uh, set of primers or random primers that can randomly amplify DNA fragments that can be used for subsequent cloning. So in addition to uh, create genomic DNA library by digesting the source DNA, if we know the target sequence of our gene of interest, 
it can be amplified specifically by using specific primers or even randomly by using uh, some uh, other set of primers that can amplify the DNA more randomly and then these fragments they can be used to ligate uh, into a suitable cloning vectors for subsequent transformation.